grab your safety gear and sign the waiver because we're exploring five insane science stunts you won't be learning at school. Normally we don't think of metals as being very dangerous, we use them all the time, but sodium metal is one that's extremely reactive. The second it touches water, it starts ripping the water molecules apart and releasing hydrogen gas, which you can see is highly flammable and in some cases explosive. The vigorous reaction is exothermic and gets so hot, it'll spontaneously burst into flames and can explode. Now if a piece of wood is thrown on top, the elemental sodium blasts back with tremendous power and sends the wood flying. Now the reaction also forms sodium hydroxide, which is very caustic and typically used as a drain cleaner. But you might remember from a previous video, we can tame that dangerous chemical with bacon grease and make it into a custom bar of shower soap. For this next experiment, we need a plastic soda bottle filled a third of the way with lukewarm water and a little bit of liquid nitrogen. Now if we pour a bit of the cryogenic fluid into the bottle and simply turn it upside down, the bottle blasts off with tremendous force. Now we've got a high-risk handheld rocket launcher. This works because the liquid nitrogen floats on the water and the gas can escape out the top, but when the bottle is turned over, the liquids trade places and the nitrogen is instantly vaporized, blasting water out the nozzle with incredible pressure. These bottles can shoot hundreds of feet at high velocity, which apparently is enough power to break clean through my kitchen window. There's also a risk of these blowing up in your hand, so why don't we move on to the next experiment while we're still in one piece. Now one way to supercharge a Halloween party is with a spellbinding Blasto-Lantern. Just pour a bit of calcium carbide into a small plastic cup, then carefully set it inside a pre-carved pumpkin. When all the pieces of the pumpkin are back in place, simply pour in a bit of water and put the lid back on top. The pumpkin will slowly fill up with highly flammable acetylene gas. So as you might be able to guess, we're going to light that off with a fuse. Now when the spark hits the gas, it blasts out a sinister looking face with a startling amount of power. Your guests will probably find this trick extremely amusing because anytime you mix oxyacetylene gas with a pumpkin, it's bound to get a very spirited reaction. With some simple engineering, you can turn a junk microwave like this into an electrical metal melter that'll pump out a shocking 800 amps of metal melting current. We just need to break inside to access the electronics, then locate this awesome piece of equipment, a 1500 watt microwave oven transformer. Now there are two coils on this beast, a primary and a secondary, and if we cut off the secondary and replace it with two gauge insulated cable, we've got ourselves an incredible device that'll melt metal in just a few seconds. When it gets turned on, it pumps out a staggering amount of electrical current, which you can see is enough to reduce a machine screw to a flowing river of molten metal. It'll also weld sheet metal, melt neodymium magnets, and heat steel until it's glowing hot, just in case you're in the mood for a little amateur blacksmithing. For this last experiment, we're making pie, but trust me, you don't want to eat this one. We'll need to take this recipe outside and away from anything flammable, and get started by mixing precise amounts of sugar and potassium nitrate. This is a highly flammable mixture already, and the more we shake it, the faster it's going to react when we light it later on. Now if we warm this powder on medium-low heat, you can see the sugar begins to caramelize and absorb the nitrate salts. When it's all melted and mixed together, it kind of looks like pumpkin pie filling, so why don't we try pouring it into a pie crust and letting it set for a few minutes. If it weren't for the fuse sticking out of the center, you'd think it was just a regular pumpkin pie. But watch what happens if we light it off. It bursts into a fountain of flames and spews hot ash like a miniature volcano. This gives a whole new meaning to the term pyrotechnics, and this just might be the first dessert that burns its own calories. Well, there are five crazy science stunts you probably won't see in the classroom, and while I can't recommend you actually try these experiments, you know what would happen if you did. That's it for now. If you like these projects, perhaps you like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Well, that was exciting. Hey guys, I hope you like these demonstrations. They are some of my favorites, probably because they're a little bit dangerous, but that keeps it real. And if you felt the power and learned something new, then why don't you share this video on Facebook and Twitter and Reddit, because it really does help a lot. Now there's one thing I need you to do right now. Click on this video that All Time Tens just released on their channel. It's showing 10 crazy experiments that scientists did to themselves. This is a video you need to see, and if you don't know who All Time Tens are by now, you need to. They do some of the best top tens videos on the internet. They have a super popular YouTube channel with almost three million subscribers, and as you might have guessed, this video is in collaboration with theirs. So go check them out, subscribe to them, and tell them that Grant Thompson sent you. Now in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to show you how to make miniature rockets that will launch off your desktop. So subscribe right now if you haven't already, because I'd really like to see you around in those project videos. Are you still here? Go check out All Time Tens.